Hello and welcome my friends to Way of Survivor number 13, this time with Salty U49.12 and we are fighting Koyomi, a strong new 12 player. So um, about my elo range, but yeah, the matchup is very difficult and uh, I was kinda uh, shivering in fear when I saw uh, Aaron, an orange new to fight against. But I haven't heard about them before, so still everything in the open here. But the matchup is tough usually, and I've not been very patient this match, as you will see. Just swinging like crazy, and uh, they do a very good job in using in, get, in using this against us. So only very little health has left this time and they get me with the I guess Itadatne Ita, I don't know how this cross up is called but yeah with the cross up which is very cheap and a good tool for repositioning as well so yeah mutual in my opinion a top tier contender most people will place her in high tier though yeah, I'm the sitting duck here and I'm too greedy with the Wyverns. Too passive, too greedy with the Wyverns. That's what I can tell this far. And here again, too greedy, not patient enough. I wanted to jump out, but they catch it. And so a very dominant showing from Koyomi uh, this far. And kinda disheartened me, so I went for the character switch. Even though I didn't think that Bang had it in him, at least my Bang at the very least. Uh, but I just wanted to collect data at this point. But yeah, um, looking at it back, I wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> just because uh, my Kagura probably still had a chance in there. And as you see, my Bang is doing even worse in the start here. Just getting molded. While normally Bang has a good matchup against Zona type characters, I believe that uh, New 12 might be an exception as she has exceptionally long range. And while I say this, I get killed by a 4.7k damage combo. So they got long range and long range normals and great damage. And so yeah, of course this is a very strong starter, but I mess up the combo. And I get exit axle for my troubles. But still, of course, that uh, hit gave me the confidence I needed. Getting hit by the overhead. So the, that overhead is strange because it's a two hit overhead and normally it's fairly easy to block. Because you got the first hit to confirm, but when they space it so that the first hit whiffs, then all of a sudden it becomes quite difficult to block. Yeah, and another very dominant round from Koyomi, got them to half health at, at least, but I, I've gotta be better. This is definitely a frustrating match for me. And we are back against Revelen, so last, uh, last Salty I believe we also had to fight against him and uh, yeah, didn't, didn't work out that well. Very strong, if not the strongest Ragnar player. So at this point I had the right idea, I wanted to beef off me first, but then I didn't got the charge and then I meshed 5A. But I meshed too hard and I should have gone for the 6C there to cash out with the 4K damage combo. I didn't do this and now he's completely in my face. I, I Yeah, I was overly patient at that point. I should have gotten out the beef off me at some point. And even they are in active flow, I don't have burst. Nice combo from them so far. Going for... Not getting the pickup, but yeah, still getting the 6B overhead. Which, in my opinion, is more difficult to handle than the... Um, than the meme Gauntlet and Hades. Very nice throw there, I knew I didn't have much options left after the 2DD Theorish. 
and of course 2 uh, 5DA Hydra is uh, the most prominent option that Rikagura's picks there. But yeah, absolutely not safe and he really made me blow up for every option that was unsafe. Here the burst blocks it, baits it, gets the perfect here, I believe. Yeah, gets the perfect with this overdrive finish. And so, next match, this is of course my tournament uh, live on the line. And it's not looking good here. He's molding me over and even though as Kagurai have all the tools to do with that, I'm not using them correctly. And he recognizes it and can, uh, yeah, and catches out every greedy play I make. Which is actually uh, fairly rare, so I need to make sure to play a little bit safer against specific persons because in at mid level, oftentimes I can make this greedy plays and get those unpunished. But he, of course, uh, punishes all of them very reliably. And maybe this is just the uh, um, difference you see when we have s such a uh, difference in match experience. Like, I believe he had 9k and I've got about 1.5k with Kagura, so still ways to learn and grow. And he's also doing a very good job in stopping my Y1 attempts with uh, JEC. Which is still one of the biggest um, uh, biggest crimes that Mori did. I messed up the combo here. I wanted to go for the stylish, uh, more optimal one, but yeah, I forgot about uh, using the A orb, and that cost me the game and just my tournament life. Which is especially sad as this was the last salt EU of the year. But yeah, make sure to uh, enter next year's Salty EU tournaments. It's always great. Also enter Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown tournaments and their weeklies. And lastly, join the Blaze Blue weeklies on Hard Edge on Wednesday and check out the other games there as well. Yeah, that was my Salty EU run. Hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe we will see each other in tournament. Until then, bye bye.